morning everyone day six it's a bit chilly but it's supposed to get hot today and for the next few days camping spots are a bit limited for the next couple days but then it seems like there's a bunch i'm on this little part where there's all these small trails that are like day trails but part of it's connected to the main thing actually it's probably like that the whole way but I'm under 50% battery, sun's not out, but I plan to keep the solar charger out and on me all day. Probably the whole trip, just 24-7 charging that thing. Well, be getting going in a little bit. Finally saw some people, a couple joggers through the trail. They were a lot older than me, making me look bad. I couldn't run up this thing. Packed up, ready to go. See what today brings. really shouldn't be recording. I gotta conserve battery, but this is nice. I'll get what I can. Basically straight uphill. Non-stop spider webs. Just climbed up this. I don't know if you can really see it, but I've been going up the whole time. nice spot right off the trail lake's pretty dry but for the pond it's a nice little spot campgrounds house up there it's a lot of these trails are private property but they just let people hike and this is a cool little spot the trail watcher it's really nice but it's making sure Making sure they know I'm here. See you later, pup. It's a bobcat out here. I keep hearing it. I saw the mountain lion. Not yesterday, but the day before. Then last night I was laying there. And this bobcat came by. It was, it was the call when it sounds like a screaming baby or screaming girl it's kind of spooky at night but it kept hanging around my tent because the fire went out by the time it showed up and it just kept going back and forth behind the lean-to just making noises definitely they're watching me but it eventually left Kept shining the spotlight out there, couldn't see it. But there's one out here. I just heard it again. Right before this. Second time. I want to see him. I love cats. I haven't gotten a dog yet, so maybe I'll adopt a bobcat. Take it with me down the trail. This is tough. But it's also amazing it's unbelievable i've never seen these type of tree before saw one that was falling too they're like red on the inside and purple pretty nice if anyone knows what that is let me know below good old trail refrigerator it's more road walking this is actually part of the trail because Trail's closed for turkey hunting. I'm also gonna head a couple miles out of the way north to town and head back down. I already found the tent spot. It's pretty nice right by a little stream. Hey, what's up everyone? So when I was on that road when the trail was closed, 
had uh, my first experience with some trail magic. He said he's seen a lot of hikers go through, and he could tell when someone's on the long distance hauls. Talked about going to Florida and YouTube and stuff, and he gave me a ride up to town so I didn't have to walk a couple hours. Got some supplies, and then I ended up getting a hotel, if you can't tell. Nice picture of the United States with license plates from every state, which is kind of fitting for what's going on. I was completely out of battery. My phone was dying. By the time I got to town, I was under 30%. Nowhere to charge. The solar charger is great. It is convenient, but it just it takes so long to charge in the sun. It takes a long time, too, in the outlets. It's a 25,000 mAh power bank, which is a decent size. It'll charge your phone a few times, but it takes forever to charge. I got a room, which is good because it's extremely hot. I know I'm going to have to get used to it going south, but I really needed to. Did some laundry, got supplies, charged up. Don't need the rest. I mean, my legs are fine. I can just walk and walk and walk. Even when I got the blisters and when my shoulders are hurting from the bag, like the first day or two, my legs are fine. They're, they just want to go. But either way, got some rest. Fully charged now. Have a, I guess the same plan, but it's a bit of a new one. I actually have time to plan things out instead of just jumping out there and figuring it out on the road while recording and editing and uploading and responding to comments and GPS. It's just, it's a nightmare just doing everything on my phone. But I'll make it work. And tomorrow I'll either be picking up right where I left off on that closed road or I might be getting a ride again further up to the further up the trail like probably within a day's a day's worth maybe two days worth from the Pennsylvania state line and the Great Eastern Trail yeah getting further and further thank you all so much this has been really incredible I'm so happy that I'm able to do this still unreal to me and i'm really glad that i'm able to share it with people and i love that people are getting something out of it more than just entertainment i saw a comment about somebody walking to work and walking home instead of driving because of this that's pretty cool yeah i love this community you've been great it's been fun and See you tomorrow. What's up everybody, back in civilization. Something going on over there. I don't know if somebody was on the ground. Good old city life. It's about to storm, pretty bad. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, I managed to hurt my knee standing up. It's a bit swollen. <clears throat> That one definitely isn't. Went to urgent care. And it turned out to be bursitis of the knee. It's pretty painful. I can still walk, but I don't know. I'm not supposed to. I do anyway. I've been walking around town trying to see if I can make it out of here. But there's more detail in the community post if you want to see it. Uh, Trailhead, it's about a six hour walk from here. And the shelter is probably another hour and a half from there. Thinking of what I can do, tried just walking, but with the bag, it's really difficult, really painful. So, I'm just hanging out. I don't know. I'll figure it out, keep going. Maybe stick with the plan, come up with a new one. Not sure. Yeah, what I mean with the plans is I could just keep going. It's a solid plan. If 
I had the means. It's a very secluded trail, the way I'm going. Finger Lakes to the Great Eastern to the Appalachian. But <clears throat> I could still do that. There's also a Greyhound station like 0.1 miles away. I found out there's a route that goes from here directly to the Appalachian Trail, to one of the trailheads. So seeing if there's a way to do that. Things are always changing, but find a way to figure it out. Do the same here. But that is a quick update and I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching.